in aerobic environments, carbon molecules such as sugar can be oxidized and their electrons from their reduced bonds can be transferred to an electron acceptor such as oxygen. Many environments are anaerobic and lack oxygen and in these environments other electron acceptors can be used. So sulfates can be used producing hydrogen sulfide. Nitrates can be used producing ammonia. A number of metal ions can be used. When these are depleted, carbon dioxide can be used, and as it receives uh, electrons from reduced bonds, methane is produced. There are only a small number of organisms which can perform this reaction, reducing carbon dioxide to produce methane, and they are known as methanogens. They are all found in the domain Archaea. No organism outside the domain Archaea can produce methane. These methanogens are very common in anaerobic environments such as the mud of swamps, the intestines of animals ranging from humans to ruminants such as cattle and other environments such as sediments under the ocean floor. These methanogens are very sensitive to oxygen and cannot survive where oxygen is present. They are very important to humans in the treating of wastewater, and their production of methane is relevant to the atmosphere because methane is a greenhouse gas which absorbs far more heat than carbon dioxide. The methane produced by methanogens might have been important in early Earth's history in warming the planet since the early sun would have been weaker. Because human population growth has led to a great explosion in the number of cattle on Earth, the methane produced in the digestive tracts of cattle because of the methanogens which reside there is a factor which must be considered when measuring the effects of humanity on global warming and climate change.